aim of this video is to make sure that we have a basic understanding of what lists are in Python. And if we take a look at a regular variable, it's much like a box where we can store something in the box. For example, a name. A list is more like a file cabinet or a chest of drawers where we can store several values in this piece of furniture. We can store one value in each drawer. We access the elements that we want to store in our list by using zero-based indexing. This means that the first element is stored at index zero and the second element in index one and so on. Next, let us have a look at a few code examples of how we might use lists. In this first example, we can see how we create an empty list and how we can then append elements to it. And in this case, we will append three names, Kalle, Anna and Max. And then we print Kalle's name and we access that by using index zero. Then we access the first element that we added to our list. Worth noting is that our list has a dynamic size. We do not have to specify when we create it how many elements that it should be able to hold. Instead, if we add another element, the size of the list will grow. Lists in Python have a lot of built-in functionality. And that is something that we will take a look at in this next little example that we have here. What we do first is that we initialize the list with some values. So if we know what values we want in our list when we create it, we can add them to begin with without using append. And then we use some of that built-in functionality to first reverse the list. And then we append an extra number. So even if we have initialized the list to have some values, we can append an extra number if we want to. And the final thing that we do is that we sort the list. And in this final part of the code example, we will see that our list uh, cannot only contain simple data types such as strings and ints that we have seen so far. It can contain more complicated data structures such as we see here with, for example, a tuple, a list of integers and a list of strings. And in Python, a list can contain different data types for each element, just as we can see here. And the final part here is a nested for loop where we access each element of the individual sequences that we have stored in our list to print the pattern that we can see on the right.